Oh, don't mind me. Just uh, adding a few more names. A few more names. Get in there. Hello again, and welcome to another episode of The Guido Goes Off. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been rumored to have been in the works for quite some time. I've heard back as far back as uh, August that this was going to happen. It does look like WWE is putting the wheels in motion for a women's tournament very similar to the Cruiserweight Classic. In fact, more than likely because of the success of the Cruiserweight Classic, this tournament is going to happen which is, is the natural progression. Um, it's no secret that over the past couple of years, um, women's wrestling, you know, in the past few years, especially in the past couple of years, uh, women's wrestling has grown by leaps and bounds in popularity. Um, <clears throat> we've gone, um, and it did, you know, you know, starting out with the uh, ladies only promotions um, like Shimmer and Shine and Bellatrix and uh, PWWA, in Australia, you know, going to now where you have um, in Lucha Underground, you have women holding, you have women going for um, the the uh, uh, top titles in that promotion. In fact, Sexy Star, as I said in my later show, holding the Gift of the Gods Championship, which guarantees a title shot. Um, then you also have uh, the likes of some other. Um, you, have, you know, you have. Uh, some other women winning top titles in promotions. And as much as um, you would think that the top company would be on the forefront of that, they've been kind of drug kicking and screaming. We all know it's that with Vince and um, the uh, main produce, the main uh, people in WWE, it's still kind of an old boys club where it's where women's wrestling still in their mind, should be an afterthought. But the fans have spoken. The fans have said, we want women's wrestling coming to the forefront. And it has. Um, from, you know, the, the you know, WWE dropping the title of Divas and the um, negative connotations that go with that uh, to that awesome triple threat match at WrestleMania uh, coming down to even um, last month with the... Um, the women not only headlining a pay-per-view, but being in the hell in a cell. I mean, it's, you know, we're, right now we're in an era where women's sports is, you know, coming to the forefront. I mean, you have in UFC, one of the top draws in UFC being the women. Um, and not to mention that here on Election Day here in the United States, we have the possibility of having the first women pro uh, woman uh, to become president of the United States. I don't know why it has to be that specific woman, but still, that could be historical. So, regardless of uh, regardless of the climate, it is proof positive. Women are coming to the forefront in professional wrestling, as well they should. Women's wrestling has, you know, become parallel to the men in every aspect, from storylines to from storylines to promos and especially in ring work which is why this women's tournament thank you um, you know I, you know I hope this this is going to come to the forefront this is going to um, be huge and and also help not only uh, women's wrestling but WWE to you know lead that charge now with that being said um, it's clear they have to find 32 women. Now, probably not anyone on the main roster, probably not anyone on NXT. Um, if they're going to go by the, the same way they did the Cruiserweight Classic, they're not going to get pe they're not going to have people that are under contract. At least we hope that they wouldn't do that. Um, now I've uh, put to thank you, phone. Uh, now we've put I've put together a list. I'm going to silence my phone, and we're going to go on with this. Um, 
Now, like I said, I, I'm, as a lot of people know, I'm a big fan of women's wrestling. I think uh, the subject of women in wrestling, you know, even uh, certain specific ones, has been a big subject on my show. So this women's tournament, it's clearly right up my alley. So with that being said, there are some women out there in the independent circuit, where have you, that I would like to see in this tournament. Um, now, some of these are going to be pretty much a slam dunk as they are the top women um, in wrestling around the world, and clearly this is where they need to be. They need to be in this tournament. So with that being said, um, I'm going to throw out some names of who I think should be in this tournament. Um, now, like I said, some of these are a slam dunk. I've got three um, listed right here that should be a slam dunk. Um, the first being Santana Garrett. Um, for those of you not familiar, uh, she was, uh, I, I think, Brittany in TNA. She was a, uh, you know, it's kind of a throwaway character, kind of um, had this odd thing going with Crazy Steve as he was transitioning into a heel. Um, but ever since she was released by TNA, she has blossomed on the independent circuit. Uh, at one point, holding both the Shine Championship and the NWA Women. Uh, ladies, I think it's still called the ladies title. Um, but still, you're looking at someone who has pretty much exploded ever since being released from TNA. This is clearly uh, a huge mistake that they've made. But she's become very popular. She's um, dominated on the women's on the uh, independent circuit and has even made a couple of appearances on TNA's One Night Onlys. And not to mention NXT, which is why I think they will be more than likely go for her as one of their marquee talents for this tournament. Um, another lady that's shown up on NXT and has had very good showings, and I think she'll be in this turn should be as in a slam dunk in this tournament, Tessa Blanchard. You know, we have seen a lot of second generation stars basically living off their daddy's name. I mean, the likes of, I mean, the likes of Ted DiBiase Jr. and Curtis Axel come to mind. Um, but it is kind of hard as a woman, not a woman to make it, to make it in this business, let alone being the daughter of a horseman that's not named Flair. <laughs> I had to amend that. But, um, Tessa Blanchard has some is a good, solid wrestler, very entertaining to watch. Also has made a couple of appearances on NXT and, and really should be a slam dunk in this tournament. Um, another uh, second-generation star, kind of an odd way of being a second-generation star, but Rachel Ellering, uh, Paul Ellering's daughter. She um, has also made a few appearances on NXT. Again, should be um, a slam dunk for this tournament, you know, because, you know, not, not just of the name, but she um, does wrestle very well and can put on a good match. Now, um, there's a couple I have an asterisk besides. Um, because I've heard, and this is kind of rumored, but it might be they might be in this They might be in this tournament. It's, it's still very iffy. The first being Courtney Rush. Or as TNA fans know her. Rosemary. The rumor, uh, rumors are that um, she might have been uh, released from her TNA contract, and if so, WWE should pounce on this. Uh, Rosemary, you know, the Rosemary character has been quite popular, and it's it's kind of branched. You know, and Courtney Rush on the indie scene. It's kind of the same, but it's not quite as twisted. Okay, maybe a little bit, kind of twisted. But still, um, entertaining to watch. And, you know, promos are... Do, do I have to explain the promos? I shouldn't. You know, she should be one of the, She should have been one of the reasons you're watching TNA. I think I've mentioned this a few shows back. But, as I said, that's a rumor. I don't know if she's out from under her TNA contract. So... It's a possibility, but I wouldn't bank on it. Um, another one, Crazy Mary Dobson. 
Now, the reason why I have an asterisk besides her, beside her is because she has been signed to WWE Developmental. She's, um, you know, and, and she has appeared several times on NXT as, uh, I think, Sarah Dobson. But um, I'm talking a lot. Sorry. But again, she's been, uh, you know, she's been showing up on NXT. She is signed to a developmental deal. Um, now, as and that's why I think as far as the Cruiserweight Classic is concerned, if you're signed to a developmental deal, it was doubtful you were in this to begin with. Um, kind of like the reason why Ciampa and Gargano were in that tournament. They had not been signed yet. I mean, they are signed now, but they hadn't been signed yet. Okay, so um, I have talked a while, so I'm going to probably... A lot of these I'm not going to give as much time as I should, but, okay. Uh, a lot of people, um, i got about nine other women I'd like to see in this tournament, so I'm going to go start going through them. Kimberly. Uh, for those of you who don't know her, uh, Kimberly has had a heck of a year. Um, she was believed, I know she was on in, uh, in the top 20 of the female 50, because she was the first ever female Chikara Grand Champion, which is a men's title. She has grown by leaps and bounds ever since uh, the Kimber Bombs had to split up. Because, as we all, as a lot of you know, uh, Cherry, her partner Cherry Bomb, is now Allie in TNA. So um, Kimberly has gone has gone on her own, and like I said, Grand Champion, uh, Chikara Grand Champion should be in this tournament. Would be very nice for her to be in this tournament. Um, another one, one of my personal favorites, Evie. Um, the the uh, little New Zealander that kicks like a mule. Um, it, she um, She's also kind of, she uh, did make an appearance in NXT. Unfortunately, she kind of got squashed by Nia Jax. But who hasn't? Um, you know, she's quite entertaining. Very physical style. Um, I think it lends itself great to a tournament like this. And so I'm hope, kind of hoping that she ends up in this tournament as well. Um, one, I think this should be a slam dunk because when I heard um, from... I don't know if you guys watch the Way Too, Way Too Real podcast or hear anything about that. Um, shout out to those guys. Uh, this was the first name thrown out when I'd heard about this tournament going on, and I think we all know why she's a slam dunk to be in this tournament, Soraya Knight. You're talking one of the biggest names in wrestling in England. Let's not forget the fact, yes, she is Paige's mother, but she can show you why um, Paige's because she's trained, she's trained a, a great many uh, of the women out there. I mean, yes, of course she's trained Paige. She also um, had a hand with uh, Becky Lynch. Um, there's some other uh, English lady wrestlers that she has helped out, but her style, savage, brutal, brawling, inside, outside. I saw a match where she, a 20-minute match, where she only spent two minutes in the ring. She could be a wild card. I mean, yes, she would be one of the older participants in this tournament, but she could also be uh, quite entertaining to watch. Um, again, uh, before I go any further, if you guys haven't seen any of these uh, women, don't be afraid to look them up here on YouTube. Um, I'm sure you can find great matches with them. Okay, um, I'm okay. Moving on from uh, Soraya Knight, another name I'd like to see. Um, and she is, she has been in for a while, but I think this and, and she and you could say this this is kind of one of her last uh, opportunities. Lefisto, the wounded Al Ronan, uh, once again another um, hard brawling style. Um, Lefisto has been in <sighs> almost every battle you can think of. I've I've seen her. I've seen her in matches, you know, in, in hardcore matches, in street fights, in cage matches. 
and she is um, top notch. One of uh, clearly one of the toughest women in professional wrestling. Came back from a stroke to you know to, to return to wrestling and then still dominate. Again, um, kind of be a long kind of be a long shot because one of the um, more seasoned uh, lady wrestlers out there, but would be a good addition. Um, another one I'd like to see, the Punisher Madison Eagles, former Shimmer Champion. Um, pretty much the catalyst for women's wrestling in Australia. Um, she and her husband formed PWWA, uh, Pro Wrestling Women of Australia. Um, so that's where, that's where you're seeing a lot of the Australian talents coming from. In fact, was the, in fact, um, was, was responsible for uh, Jessica McKay, who uh, we all now know as uh, Billy Kay uh, in NXT. Um, also helped out with Casey Cassidy. Um, launching uh, Evie, who I mentioned earlier. And that's not, and that's also forget, another punishing style. And plus, you know, she's a sight to be, she's six foot one. This is a six foot one woman. Um, and not, and not like, and a big woman, but um, still a very it, it has that very punishing style. Lots of kicks, lots of flying. And speaking of flying, I just had a cat flying. I freakouts are coming early nowadays. But again, Madison Eagles, great addition to this tournament. Um, another Auss Aussie wrestler, Kelly Skater, um, the Rate Tank. I've seen a lot of her matches. Um, she recently had um, she's um, her uh, tag team partner retired, with whom she uh, held the Shimmer Tag Team Championship for quite some time. Now she's on her own. She's trying to, you know, she's building up momentum, and is actually I think on tour right now in the states now. So again, uh, someone else to uh, see. Very tough. Very, um, you know, big brawling style. Would be great to see. Another big name uh, that you that some people have probably never heard of, Nicole Matthews, um, one half of one of the most dominant Shimmer Tag Team Champions, the Canadian Ninjas. Um, I think still the reigning Shimmer Champion. I could be wrong, but um, a great talent. Great would be great to see her. Um, Kind of a more technical style, which you know, like I said, you, you with the cruiserweight class, you saw all these different styles, and there's different styles with the women, which would be great to see. See how these styles line up. Um, so uh, Nicole Matthews, a name to be thrown in that tournament. Um, next one could be a bit controversial, but you know what? This is my list. I want to see her, Jessica Havoc. Now, as a lot of people know, uh, last, let's say either it was earlier this year or sometime last year, she had a tryout with WWE. It was at the same time as Athena, who you now know as Ember Moon. The thing was, it was at that point where some upstanding internet uh, community members decided to air out some dirty laundry um, in previous racist tweets. Which was unfortunate because Jessica Havoc is a hell of a talent. This is you know a woman. Now we all know she held the TNA Knockouts Championship, but then was kind of tossed to the wayside because hey, we got Kong back. We don't need her. Big, you know, not you know she lost um, a lot of weight from when she was in TNA, but still, you know, she tall girl, you know. Big brawling style, strong, very strong style. Would be great to see her. I mean, as I know, a lot of people might not not agree with me on this because of the past. But the past, you know, let's the past be the past. Let's watch us some God Blasted Wrestling. My final one, honestly, this one should be a slam dunk because of her previous relationship with WWE and NXT. Leva Bates, who you knew in NXT as Blue Pants. Yes, 
I want to see Blue Pants back in this tournament. Even if it, even, even if it's as Blue Pants, we all know Leva Bates can is a great was you know very good. You know, put a lot of people over, made a lot of people look a lot better than they could, and wrestles like a dream. Honestly, if if even if it's just as Blue Pants, Leva Bates needs to be in this tournament. I mean, I think a lot of the, all these ladies need to be in this tournament. You get you get thirty two. You got room for thirty two women. Why not put some of these ladies on this in there? It wouldn't be regret. You wouldn't regret it. But anyway, that is um, my list of the women who should who I feel should be in this women's tournament. Again, I thank you for watching, and as always, I welcome your opinions. Who do you want to see in this tournament? Who do you want to see um, get a bigger stage to perform? As always, you can tell me in the comment section below. And, of course, you can always talk to me on my social media, uh, both Twitter and Instagram. Uh, listen below there. And, of course, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and, and please subscribe to the channel. Um, I just got two new subscribers from my previous episodes. Thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you. Uh, folks so much for um, subscribing and wanting to see more of this show. Well, until next time, I'm the Guido, and I think we're done here.